Hi, I'm Danny from Thor Converters and I'm here at Monster Transmission to explain the function of pilots. The pilot is incorporated into the front cover of the torque converter. The main function is to support the torque converter in the crankshaft of the engine. It's very important that the size has to be the same bore as the torque converter. The pilot goes in the crankshaft and the flex plate bolts bolt to the flex plate. The crankshaft supports the pilot and it's very very important that the pilot goes into the crankshaft at least an eighth of an inch. The pilot size should always be measured with an instrument that's either verniers or caliper for a rough measurement and a micrometer to get a more precise measurement. So the vernier is pretty close. So the inside bore naturally you can't get in with a vernier if this is attached to the engine. Uh, it's very difficult so you would need something like this it's similar to a mic inside mic and you would get the size then you would measure it with your verniers or micrometer. We get the question all the time can I turn this down to fit my crankshaft? If it's a standard crankshaft there's no way you need to turn it down. Occasionally we run into these oddball crankshafts that are aftermarket, they're steel cranks, and the size is slightly different. Now one of the reasons you have to be very careful on turning them down, this, this happens to be a Ford crank, they're very thin inside here where the, where the uh, input shaft to the transmission runs. So you don't have a lot of room. We do make some custom pilots that are allowable for different sizes but it's a custom deal. The Ford pilot is one inch 375 thousandths, a lot different than the GM pilot which is 1703. Their stock GM front wheel drives have a very small pilot and there's inside splines in here so you can't cut that down at all there'd be no need to do it. Chrysler pilots are they're very very thin as you can see on the inside of this one this happens to have a bushing inside the bushing supports the turbine and the pilot is supported by the crankshaft so everything is running on center line so that without professional uh, people that know about you know, machining a pilot never turn down a pilot this happens to be a billet lid. It's a Ford Pilot, same dimension as this one. This is a stock cover for a C6 transmission. This is a C6 billet lid high stall converter. And it's, and it's as you can see inside, it's all machined. There's thicker material there, but the size should never be turned down. Uh, these three Pilots or front covers are Fords. This is an AOD and it incorporates a dampener inside. And it also has a spline for lockup. If you're in a high performance application and drag racing or whatnot and you need to uh, have a motor plate on the engine, you have to extend the pilot. The pilot has to be longer for the thickness of that motor plate. If it's a quarter inch motor plate, we have to extend this a quarter inch and the pads. The pilot and the pads have to be extended. The overall height of a torque converter is determined from the pad to the impeller hub in an inverted situation. Even though they may look different, the heights have to be maintained. But if you can visualize the crankshaft of an engine, which that's the one that I cut just for this purpose, for measuring, and it would actually fit right on there. It supports the whole mass of the torque converter. Keeps it in center line with your rotating crankshaft and RPM. As RPM increases all of this load is put on the crankshaft and in many instances if the bolts loosen up the crankshaft bore will get egg shaped and it'll be oversized. It's got to be a slip fit. There, there can't be any slop in there. It's got to be right, right tight. 
just like that. You can't move it from side to side. And there are companies out there that make adapters for these, but we still need the sizes. We try to make the converters standard. That way, if you have to replace it, you can. I'm not a big fan of customizing the pilot sizes. Okay, that pretty much wraps it up. If you have any questions or you need any more information, uh, feel free to give Monster Transmission a call at 800-708-0087, and they'd be glad to help you.